the friends in Christ, welcome to Wednesday of the 30th week in the ordinary time. Year two, life presents often the narrow way and the wide way. In many situations, the wide way is often that which requires little or no effort. The corners that do not require you to go through the right way or follow the laid down procedures. The other way, which is narrow, requires a lot of work and efficiency, but often very rewarding. It requires that you follow due process and avoid cutting corners. It requires passing through the gate or the door rather than jumping the fence or going through the window. To such people, the Lord will open the door. In our first reading, taken from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 1 to 9, Paul continues his admonitions by turning to children, saying, Obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may be well with you and that you may live long on the earth. Paul here refers to the fourth commandment. In the order of the arrangement, just after the commandments on our relationship with God, the next is on our relationship with our parents. The respect between children and their parents is not reciprocal. No child disrespects his parents because they did not do something or they did something he considers wrong. A child can only disobey the parents if he is asked to do something that is wrong and unlawful. Unfortunately, we live in a world where children want to be in control even while still under the roof of their parents in the care and upbringing of children. Paul also offers parents an advice. He says, fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. This is what couples promise on the day of their marriage and at the baptism of their children. Unfortunately, a lot of parents find it difficult to follow up with the religious upbringing of their children, the way they do with their schools. For that reason, many children are not well grounded in religious education and can be easily swayed by what they see going on around them. In today's gospel, taken from Luke chapter 13, verses 22 to 30, Jesus was responding to the question, Lord, will those who are saved be few? There are still people today who worry on the number. Will it be 144,000 or less or more? What is important, however, is to make sure that even if only one person will be saved, that you are that one person. Strive to enter through the narrow door. Those who fail to heed this warning will find themselves locked out of the banquet of the Lord. They might say, Oh, we ate and drank in your presence, and you taught on our streets. Yet it will not open, because there's more to salvation than listening or watching him preach. Take advantage of the opportunities that God is giving you at this time. Let us pray. Lord, open to us the door of your mercy as we come to knock, to seek, and to pray. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.